Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to try to compare an actual photograph of Robert Johnson with a photograph that is alleged to be Robert Johnson. So here we're going to pick the photograph of Robert Johnson that we know is him and then we're going to use the computer face recognition to locate the center of his right eye and then the center of his left eye. This is how the software is going to line up the faces perfectly. There we have it. You can see both pupils are centered. Then we're going to go and we're going to pick the photograph of the alleged Robert Johnson and we're going to locate the center of his right eye and locate the center of the pupil on his left eye and there you can see we have them and so there there are the two photographs lined up perfectly symmetrical perfectly matched as per size and now we'll do an overlay of the two photographs and do a comparison here we have the alleged Robert Johnson now I'm going to fade in the actual Robert Johnson and you'll see that the pupils do not change in position and here we have the actual Robert Johnson the alleged Robert Johnson the actual Robert Johnson now if we can take a look at some of the specific features right here I'm going to very carefully outline his left ear. Let's take a look at this left ear first. This will be the first thing we'll compare to the alleged Robert Johnson. Well, first of all, you can see that the alleged Robert Johnson's ear is much higher and is not as pronounced as the actual Robert Johnson. Also, if we notice, the center of the alleged Robert Johnson's ear is almost in line with his eyeballs. Here, if we go to the actual Robert Johnson, we notice that the center of his ear is actually more in line with his cheek. So the ears, the position and the shape and size of the ear do not match up from the actual Robert Johnson to the fake Robert Johnson. Now let's take a look at Robert Johnson's, the actual Robert Johnson's, bad eye and his good eye and we'll see how these line up with the alleged Robert Johnson well we can see that the alleged Robert Johnson's eyes are both bigger and are more normal we can see that his left eye is a more normal eye than the, the real Robert Johnson and so the eyes the eyes do not match up again we'll go back to the alleged Robert Johnson and we can see his eye here actually is much both eyes are much wider open than the actual Robert Johnson now let's take a look at the nose here's the nose of the alleged Robert Johnson it's a rather straight nose And we'll go to the real Robert Johnson. And we can see that the real Robert Johnson's nose was much broader. The nostrils are much further out. And so the nose does not match at all. There's absolutely no comparison of the nose. If we look at the alleged Robert Johnson's eyebrow the right eye tends to go up like that and if we go to the real Robert Johnson we notice that the real Robert Johnson's eyebrows are pinched in much further his his the bridge of his nose is pinched in much further and the eyebrows are actually lower than in the alleged Robert Johnson Lastly, if we go to the, although it's hard to tell because we have 
the alleged Robert Johnson's hand covering the lower part of his face, if we look at his, the structure of his chin, here's the structure of his chin, the alleged Robert Johnson, and if we go to the actual Robert Johnson, we can see the actual Robert Johnson's chin is much broader, it's much more square, he has a much broader face than the man in the photograph. And finally, if we were to line up the hat in, in the head, the alleged Robert Johnson's head exceeds like this from the top. And if we look at the real Robert Johnson, real Robert Johnson's head, again, is much wider than the alleged Robert Johnson. So, comparing the ears, the eyes, the nose, the chin, the shape of the head, there is absolutely no way, as can be seen from this face recognition software, computerized, that the fake Robert Johnson is in any way related to the real Robert Johnson and is, in fact, a fake Robert Johnson.